Jamie Lynn Spears is continuing to make private family matters very public after breaking into tears during a recent podcast appearance, but Brit is making it clear that she has no sympathy. So let's get into what's going on. Not long after Britney Spears expressed her unconditional love for her little sister Jamie Lynn on social media amid their very public feud, Jamie Lynn gave a tearful performance during a two-part series on the explicitly popular podcast Call Her Dad. Jamie Lynn's appearance on the podcast, hosted by Alex Cooper, also comes after the release of her widely criticized book, Things I Should Have Said, in which she broke her silence regarding her own experiences with growing up in the shadow of her older sister. Hours before the episode went live, fans were confused as to why Jamie Lynn would take things to this extent, considering the fact that she accused Britney of handling their feud on a public platform. At the start of the podcast, Jamie Lynn wasted no time getting right into her own difficult experiences growing up with her family, telling Alex that it all started even before she was born as she was technically an accident. It didn't take long for Jamie Lynn to break out the waterworks as she recalled feeling like she didn't matter as her family was very caught up with Britney's thriving career and her parents were dealing with their own issues. My whole life, I kind of felt like I didn't matter. So it's like, I just wish that mattered. During multiple instances throughout part one of the podcast, Jamie Lynn also admitted to being sheltered from many of the issues her family faced. Earlier this week, Jamie Lynn told ABC News a story about Britney allegedly locking her in a bedroom with a knife that she tucked away into a bedside table, telling her younger sister, baby, I'm scared, which Jamie Lynn elaborated on on Call Her Daddy. I didn't understand I didn't understand it. I was a kid. I just knew I didn't feel, I knew I felt really scared. And especially from somebody that like, when I'm scared, I run to you. Why am I now scared with you? She went on to admit that she never said anything to anyone about most instances involving Brittany because she felt like she was not allowed to have feelings about anything and was told not to make a big deal about anything. Jamie Lynn instantly began trending on social media as well as her Nickelodeon show, Zoe 101, as fans criticized her interview, including what they called her fake tears. The interview also struck a nerve with Britney, who didn't hold back when it came to her own experiences. Brit alluded to Jamie Lynn's comments about feeling as though she didn't matter, saying, I asked myself every day, does anybody care? WTF, do I matter? I would honestly be very interested to see your pretty face in the setting I was forced to be in and ask yourself, do I matter? I didn't get to cry. I had to be strong. In a second post, Britt detailed the time she returned home amid her breakup with Justin Timberlake, all while 12-year-old Jamie was being served chocolate milkshakes with the perfectly crushed ice with the secret chunky sugar, indulging in TV for hours, and laying out on a raft at the pool. She shared an IG photo resembling the chocolate milkshakes, adding, Justin's family was all I knew for many years. Things were different now, and Jamie Lynn had a new Nickelodeon show. All I remember saying was, damn, how the hell does a 12-year-old land a Nickelodeon show? Hmm. Well, I never got my iced chocolate drink. Britt went on to address the knife incident, explaining that she was scared because people showed up at her house that she eventually had learned were for a People magazine cover, adding, my mama was on pain medication and could barely hold a conversation in the house because her and my dad split and she was more messed up than anything. In her closing statement, Brittany addressed Jamie Lynn one last time, apologizing for not being strong enough to do what she should have done all along, slapped you and mama right across your fucking faces. Well, on Tuesday evening, Brit's lawyer, Matthew S. Rosengart, sent Jamie Lynn a cease and desist letter, calling on her to stop discussing Brit's life during interviews and threatened further legal action if she refuses. We can only hope Brittany is able to continue moving on with her new life and freedom in a calm and peaceful manner. To see why Jamie Lynn is facing even more backlash over her comments about Brittany, click right over here for the full Clever News rundown. Then let us know all your thoughts about about Jamie Lynn's interview moments, as well as Britney's fiery response back, and how about that milkshake drama? <laughs> For now, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. Come find me online at carlyhenderson underscore, and I'll see you soon.